we're scientists, right? That's our job. And so data is everything, and reliable data, repeatable data, that's paramount. And so if we have a sensor we can't trust, it undercuts the whole process. So we need to have data we can trust, and we need to have sensors we can trust. That quality has to be perfect if we're depending on the robot to do its job correctly every cycle, day in, day out, year in, year out. One of the things that makes robotics really function is repeatability or precision. What the force torque sensor from ATI gives us is both accuracy and repeatability. A force torque sensor is a device that uses silicon strain gauges and converts mechanical loads into forces and torques and it measures simultaneously in all six axes, force XYZ and torque XYZ. When you look inside the ATI force torque sensor, you can imagine it resembles a wheel with an outer wall, with an inner hub, with spokes or beams connecting them. Each beam has four silicon strain gauges that function in pairs to form half bridges. The output of the transducer is six channels of strain gauge voltages. The output is digitized and then converted to force and torques through a matrix calculation. ATI uses very sensitive silicon strain gauges to maximize gain, greatly reducing signal noise. The high gain in the strain gauges allows the beams to be extremely strong, providing very high overload protection. Proprietary bonding methods used during the mounting of the strain gauges greatly reduces hysteresis, which can be a problem for load cells. The benefit of using a force torque sensor versus a single axis load cell is that you get a complete picture of everything acting on that transducer instead of just one snapshot of a measurement. The ATI sensor can measure loads that are applied in any orientation on any axis. ATI force torque sensors can withstand overloads between 5 and 20 times the rated measurement range. As a robot company, we have to be ahead of the curve or try to be ahead of the curve. The good thing about ATI is they are ahead of the curve. Their force torque sensors are rated well beyond what the robot is specced at for payload, let's say, for example. Communications protocols and buses, ATI always seems to be right on line, right on track with what the industry needs at a particular point in time. So we don't really have to spend a lot of time asking ATI for features and functionality. Our customers all have different environments where they need to use our sensor, so we have developed interfaces to work in every one of them, whether it's NetFT, which will communicate Ethernet data, or DACFT for connecting to data acquisition hardware, or the controller FT for standalone operation, and even our newer wireless FT and EtherCAT FT. This product is being used in every major university in the United States and throughout the world. It's also used in every major manufacturing facility around the world. The force torque sensor allows them to provide robots with a sense of touch, a sense of feel that allow them to do applications normally done only by humans. The most important thing force torque sensing gives us is the ability to open up the robot to other applications where we normally wouldn't have that ability some of the more common applications for force torque sensors are product testing, life cycle testing, control of robots for surgery. The robotic technology with the full six degree of freedom control gives you a lot of freedom that you never had before because you need to be able to measure three forces, three torques to get the full loading state of any joint. And that's true for any joint. Once you establish that, you've established the full loading state of any specimen of any joint you want to do. The coolest thing by far that the force torque sensor is being used for are groundbreaking applications, doing things that no company has ever done before. When we work with our space-related customers or we work with people doing microsurgeries, things that haven't been invented yet, and we're able to be a part of that process and go through the journey with them to develop their product. Really, whatever the customer needs, ATI is able to provide. So the support I get from ATI is, is really great. They have all these products, so it's really nice. That's kind of a one-stop shop. So if we're using ATI and have no reason to change, they, it's a good product, so we keep using it. Coming from manufacturing myself, I know the importance of reliability and uptime. When we order a product from them, everything comes complete. Software, cables, hardware, take them out of the box, and we're up and running in 20 minutes. 
We like using ATI force torque sensors here at ABB because of their robustness, first of all. They are proven, they've been validated by us and by the customers. Customers know them by name, they have a reputation. Our trust in ATI has to be the highest possible because the quality and performance of the ATI product and its reliability is a direct reflection of how well our robot can do its job each and every time, and ATI is absolutely a critical part of that. With the continuing innovation with ATI and their engineers at their facilities, they are not stopping at what they have today. They're continually looking to meet and exceed customer expectations today and for tomorrow's use. Reliability of the force torque sensor is extremely important to ABB because our name is on that robot. We have to have very reliable end-of-arm tooling, and ATI gives that to us with their force torque products.